In this video, my human will show you how to build your own one hand keyboard. Let's start, but first, don't forget to like and subscribe to support us. For this project, you will need an ESP32 board, 5 tactile push buttons, a breadboard, and some jumper wires. To get started, you'll need to connect each button to a different pin on the ESP32. Now, let's move on to setting up the software. You'll need to install the necessary Bluetooth libraries. These are available from the, the GitHub repository. Once the libraries are installed, open the Arduino IDE and manually include them as my human is demonstrating. This will allow your ESP32 to communicate with your device via Bluetooth. Next, connect the ESP32 to the computer and upload the code. The way the code works is simple. Each button is connected to a specific pin on the ESP32, and depending on whether it's pressed or not, it generates a 5-bit binary string. This string is then translated into a character. The configuration supports up to 32 unique characters. To make typing more efficient, we've assigned the simplest button combinations to the most frequently used letters in the English language, reducing the need for complex patterns when typing. Once that's done, plug in the power, connect your device via Bluetooth, and your one-hand keyboard is ready to use. As my human presses the first button, it's mapped to the spacebar, making it easy to add spaces while typing. Now, the next few buttons are assigned to some of the most common letters, E, T, A, and O. When the last three buttons are pressed together, it triggers the backspace function, allowing quick corrections for any mistakes. At the moment, my human is using a reference table to learn which button combinations produce which letters. While his current speed is around 10 words per minute, as he memorizes these combinations, his typing speed will improve significantly. If you found this video useful, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more ESP32 tips and tutorials. Check out our other projects on the channel as well. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.